Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Arn Duels, and they're gonna be doing an Odd Eyes Chaos Synchro deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Braxton. And this deck is an amazing deck that can synchro summon into some crazy powerful cards and even plays the original Odd Eyes Dragon. So without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on the scene, come part notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. And definitely give Braxton some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Odd Eyes Dragon. This card is an extremely important three of that we're going to be using to summon out our copies of Odd Eyes Saber Dragon and Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. But this card is such a cool classic card, and I absolutely love it as a three of the deck because you can use it for all sorts of really cool synchro plays, and you can even use it to summon out those awesome boss monsters. We then play two copies of Odd Eyes Saber Dragon. Odd Eyes Saber Dragon is a really good two of in the deck that has a great ability if this card's in your hand you can tribute a light monster and then send an odd eyes dragon from your hand deck or your side of the field to the graveyard and if you do special summon out this card which is a pretty good effect to just instantly get you a boss monster out in your side of the field it also has the ability when this card destroys a monster or a battle and sends it to the graveyard you destroy one monster that your opponent controls which is a great effect especially since this card comes out at 2800 attack points we then play two copies of Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon is a really cool two of in the deck as well because it has a great ability. If this card is in your hand, you can treat a dark monster and send an Odd Eyes Dragon from your hand deck or face her from field to grave. And if you do, special summon this card. And if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Odd Eyes monster from your deck or graveyard, extend another copy of this card, and then add a Spiral Flame Strike from your deck to your hand, which is a great ability for this card to have to instantly get you another Odd Eyes on your side of the field while also searching the copy of Spiral Flame Strike, which is such a cool card to be able to grab out of the deck with this card. It's really cool as well how well these work with the Chaos Package, especially since you tribute either a dark or a light monster to be able to get these on the field and so you can fuel your graveyard for your other chaos plays. We then play three copies of Chaos Witch. Chaos Witch is one of the craziest cards in the entire deck because this card generates tokens, which is really cool. I love this card as a three of in this build because it's so helpful because you can tribute this card and then special summon out two dark beast tokens that are fiend dark level two, a thousand attack and 500 defense. And if this card is banished from your hand or graveyard, then you can special summon out two light beast tokens that are fairy tuner light level two, 500 attack, a thousand defense, which is a great ability just to instantly get those cards on your side of the field so you can start synchro summoning into some really powerful cards. We then play three copies of Chaos Mirage Dragon. This card is a great normal summon in the deck because it has a really cool ability that you can target a banished light or dark monster and special summon it to your side of the field but negate its effects, which is not that big of a deal because it's just going to get you a monster on your side of the field so you can synchro climb into some really powerful plays. I love that about this card and it's a really amazing card in this particular build. It also has the ability if this card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of other monsters used for this card synchro summon and then banish them which is a great ability for this card to have when you use it as a synchro material. We then play three copies of Shell of Chaos. Shell of Chaos is great as a three of in the build as well because this card is just amazing with our core of Chaos because this card has a great ability that it cannot be normal summoner set. It must be special summoned by a card effect. And if this face up card would lead the field, banish it instead. And you can only expect this card once per turn that you can banish a light monster from your hand or graveyard to special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extract for the rest of turn except light or dark synchro monsters which is not that big a deal because that's pretty much all we're doing anyways but it also has a great ability if this card is special summon you can target one of your banished core of chaos and special summon it to your side of the field which is a great effect to instantly get core and shell on your side of the field so you can step into your copy of chaos beast 
We then play three copies of Core of Chaos. Core of Chaos is a definite three of as well to go with our copy of Shell. And this card can actually special summon out your copy of Shell of Chaos, which is amazing. And to summon out this card, you banish a dark monster from your hand or graveyard, which is a great ability, especially since this is a tuner and your copy of Shell is not, which helps you get into a bunch of different synchro plays. And when you have both of these cards in your hand, you're going to want to summon one of them by banishing the other one so you can get that special summon off of either or which is such a cool thing about these cards we then play a single copy of white dragon wyvern buster and a single copy of black dragon collapse serpent these are really good as one each in the deck because they are searchable off your copy of chaos space and when either or leave the field they search the other one which is so cool about these cards they're also super helpful in this particular deck because they are level four to help you climb into some really awesome synchro plays and the easy thing about these cards is that you just have to manage either a light or a dark monster to special summon them out to your side of the field from the graveyard which is amazing we then play a single copy of chaos Valkyra. this card is just a great extender in the deck because it has a really cool ability that you can manage a light or dark monster from your grave to special summon this card from your hand making it a very good extender in the deck we then play a single copy of the chaos creator chaos creator is insane in this particular build because this card is an amazing boss monster that you have to banish a light and a dark monster from your graveyard to be able to summon out this card and if you control this card that was special summoned from the hand you can target three banished monsters with different names and special summon one of them and place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order which is going to help you get your cards back onto your side of the field which is just so cool about this card we then also play some buy steals in the deck. So we're going to be playing three copies of Magnema. This card is amazing in the deck because all of your buy steal monsters share a common ability that, that you can target a light or dark monster in either player's graveyard and banish it. And if you do, special summon this card from your hand. And it's a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster, which is amazing about your buy steal monsters, that they're quick effects to be able to deal with cards in your opponent's graveyard that are light or dark. But this card is in a super unique ability that if this card is special summon, you can make this card have the ability that during the end phase you can add any dragon you want from your deck or graveyard to your hand except a copy of this card which is insane because you can grab cards like your odd eyes cards you can grab your black or white dragon you can grab any of those cards that you need or even a different buy steal that you might need making this card a definite three of in the build we then play a single copy of druis worm druis worm is really good in this build as a one of because this card just helps you out at dealing with monsters that are special summoned on the field which is why i play this card as a one of in the build we then play a single copy of Baldrake. Baldrake is kind of the same reason. This card deals with cards that are from the extract, making this card a definite one of in the build as well, especially as an extender because these are level six in the deck, which is really good to be able to help you synchro summon into cards like Chaos Angel, which is just really cool. We then play a single copy of Sawnier. Sawnier is just here for the name. You really don't use it for its effect, but you can dump one of your additional names to the graveyard, which is really nice. And I like this card as a one of in the build. And playing this exact number of six in the deck is just really, really good. We then play two copies of the Hand of the Light Swarm. This card is great at helping you dump cards to the graveyard. Plus, we do play Charge of the Light Brigade, so we can get some light and darks in the graveyard. And this card helps you out because every turn it's going to basically mill four cards, which is insane because you can use ability to send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard during your turn and then during the end phase you send two additional cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard which is just amazing and it helps out a lot in this particular build just to get those cards on the grave so you can start banishing cards so you can start summoning out your chaos monsters we then play two copies of Assault Synchron. This card is really good because by just taking 700 points of life points, you can actually special summon this card to your side of the field. But while it's on the field, you can only Synchro summon, which is, again, not that big of a deal because it's all we're summoning anyways in this deck, and it's absolutely amazing. We then play a single copy of Plague Spreader Zombie. Plague Spreader Zombie is an amazing card in this particular deck because when it's in the graveyard, you can place a card from your hand on top of your deck to be able to special summon out this card back from the graveyard to your side of the field, which is just absolutely amazing amazing and if you guys haven't noticed there's a lot of monsters in the deck and this is actually a 50 card build for chaos odd eyes synchro which is just really really cool so that's it for the monsters guys let's get in to the spells So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial is really good as a one-up in the deck to get the exact card you need into the graveyard when you need it. 
We can play three copies of Allure of Darkness. We play a lot of dark monsters in the deck because it is a chaos deck. So this card just helps us dig into the deck to get the exact cards that you need, which is just really, really cool. Plus, here's some cards that actually want to be banished in the deck, which is just really nice. We then play three copies of Chaos Space. This is like the Rota for the deck, which is just really insane. This card helps you out so much because you can send a light or a dark monster from your hand to the graveyard and then add a light or dark monster that cannot be normal summoned or set from your deck to your hand with a level between one or between four and eight and with a different attribute. So for example, if you send a copy of a light monster, you have to search a dark monster that's level between four and eight that cannot be normal summoned or set, which is really amazing about this card. It helps you get into a bunch of cards into the stack. It's just a definite three on the build. Also helps you recycle cards because you can banish this card from your graveyard and then target one of your banished light or dark monsters that cannot be normal summoned or set and place that card on the bottom of the deck and then draw a card, which is amazing to help you dig into the deck. We then play three copies of Charge of the Light Brigade. Charge of the Light Brigade is really good in this deck as well because it lets you send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard to add a level four Light Swarm monster from deck to hand, which is your copy of Hand of the Light Swarm. We then play three copies of Tuning. Tuning is really good in this deck as a three of because this card lets you add a Synchron Tuner from your deck to your hand, which is your Assault Synchron that you're searching off this card's ability, and then letting you send the top card of your deck to the graveyard so you can start filling up your graveyard with Light and Dark monsters so you can start summoning out your hand and making some real crazy synchro plays. We then play three copies of Spiral Flame Strike, which is why I play the copy of the Saber Dragon and the Wizard Dragon just at two each because this card can search them. And this card is amazing in the deck because it has the ability that you can activate one of these effects that if you control an Odd Eyes card, you can actually target a card on the field and destroy it. And if you ha don't want to use that ability, you can just add a level seven Odd Eyes monster from your deck to your hand, which is a great ability to search out our Odd Eyes cards from the deck, which is so cool. The reason I'm not playing any of the Pendulum Odd Eyes cards in the deck is because you can't really play those in this build to be able to search off of this card because they don't go to the graveyard, they go to the extract, and we wanted to focus on Synchro Summoning, and they would go to the extract instead of going to the graveyard, which is why I focused on playing cards like the Wizard Dragon and Saber Dragon and even the original Odd Eyes for this Odd Eyes Chaos Synchro deck. So that's it for the main deck guys. It is 50 cards if you guys wanted to know but this deck is crazy fun to be able to play with. So let's go ahead and get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're gonna start off with a single copy of Chaos Angel. It's all you need. This card is insanely powerful. When it's summoned to your side of the field, it does banish a card from the field, which is amazing. And you can also treat a light or a dark monster as a tuner to summon out this card, meaning you don't even have to use a tuner in this deck to be able to summon out this card. As long as you can equal level 10 with two monsters, you can make this card. If you put a light monster in this card, synchro monsters you control are unaffected by monsters activated effects of your opponent. And if you put a dark monster, then monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. This card is the basically the boss monster of the deck outside of your Odd Eyes cards that you're trying to summon to your side of the field all the time to be able to close out games. We then play a single copy of Crimson Dragon. We aren't doing the King Calamity plays in this deck, but you have a lot of different targets in the extract that you can make with this card, which is just really amazing. It has a really cool ability that quick effect you can target one level seven or higher synchro monster on your side of the field except Crimson Dragon and return this card back to the extract. And if you do special summon a dragon synchro monster from your egg strike that has the same level as the targeted monster you can summon out tens eight and even sixes in this deck which is just really cool with this card and it's very easy to actually make this card because it's generic it just takes a tuner plus a non-tuner we then play a single copy of Psychic and Punisher. This card is very easy to go into, especially since a lot of your Odd Eyes cards are level seven. You have level four tuners in the deck, so it's very easy to step into this card. And plus it gets absolutely massive on the field, which is just super cool. We play a single copy of Dispatter. Dispatter is very easy to make with your copy of Crimson Dragon, because you can make Crimson Dragon with Chaos Angel on the field, target Chaos Angel, spin back your copy of Crimson Dragon and make Dispatter. Or you can just make this card normally if you want to. This card is insane in the deck. It's actually an extender and a negate, which is just amazing because it lets you target a banished light or dark monster and special summon it to your side of the field. And when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can target a banished card, shovel it into the deck, and then if it's shoveled into your deck, destroy that monster. But if it's shoveled into your opponent's deck, negate the activated effect, which is just super cool. 
We then play two copies of Chaos Archfiend. This card usually comes out at 4,500 because of its effect. And this is like the OTK machine of the deck, which is just super cool to make alongside your copy of Chaos Angel. This card is so cool in the deck and also makes it super easy to summon out Chaos Goddess because it has the ability in this card in its owner's control, leaves the field because of an opponent's card. Then you can special summon one Chaos Synchro Monster from your x check except another copy of this card, which can be your copy of Chaos Goddess. We then play a single copy of Chaos Goddess for that reason. This card is very hard to actually synchro summon into, which is why we just summon out with Chaos Archfiend, but it's pretty good because once per turn you can send a light monster from your hand to the grave and target a level 5 or higher dark monster in your graveyard and special summon that monster, but it cannot be used as a synchro material, which is not that big of a deal because you can just bring back your really big synchro monsters, which is great about this card. We then play a single copy of Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. This card is a board wipe and an amazing time card. Basically, it just board wipes the field and makes it so you can OTK your opponent, which is just amazing. I love this card in the deck as a one of and just helps out so much. Plus, you can tag into it with your copy of Crimson Dragon if you want to. We play a single copy of Draco Berserker. Draco Berserker is insane in this deck and can tag multiple monsters a turn. You can also banish an opponent's monster when it activates an effect, which is amazing. We play a single copy of Omega because ripping cards out of the opponent's hand is just amazing amazing in this deck and it's very easy to make in this build as well we play two copies of chaos beast chaos beast is insane in this in this build and it's a card that you're always going to make first in this deck if you're going into sixes because it has the ability if any cards have been banished this turn this card gains a thousand attack points going to three thousand making it a really good card to be able to make it also has the ability that you can target one of your banished light or dark monsters and add it back to your hand which is a crazy powerful effect and during your main phase except turn this card was sent to the graveyard you can manage a light and a dark monster from your hand or grave and then special summon this card to your side of the field which is a great ability just to instantly get this card back out of the grave onto your side of the field so you can keep synchro climbing we can play a single copy of infernity doom archfiend this card is generic and is just an amazing card in this build because once per turn you can target a face of card on the field negate its effects until the end of the turn then if you have no cards in your hand you can destroy it as well which is a great ability just to put this card in the field as a stepping stone while also popping cards on the field and has a great ability while you have no cards in your hand if this card battles an opponent's monster any battle damage is inflicted to your opponent is doubled and a dark synchro monster that was summoned using this card as a material can make two attacks on monsters during each battle phase which is the main reason we play this card is to step into other cards using this card so they can make extra attacks we then play a single copy of the Golden Cloud Beast. Golden Cloud Beast is great in this build because it level modulates itself, which is great. And it also has the ability to let you target a face-up card of your opponent controls and return it back to the hand if this card is sent to the grave, which is super easy to do because you're going to synchro climb in this deck. And finally, we play a single copy of Immortal Dragon. Immortal Dragon is a tuner synchro monster, making it very easy to step into cards like Crimson Dragon because a buy steal plus this card equals Crimson Dragon, which is amazing. Plus, it's just really good because you can't and Plague Spreader Zombie to the graveyard to level manipulate this card, which is great about this card. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. This deck is super fun to be able to play with. And if you guys have never played with a Odd Eyes Chaos Synchro deck, you guys should definitely give this deck a try because it's really fun. Especially this 50 card build is just absolutely insane. Especially being able to play the original Odd Eyes in this build is just super, super cool. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.